What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so, yes, in our last episode, we finally made it here to Holberry, I believe. Yes, we have, and uh, now it is finally time for us to actually move on and continue our adventure right here. You know, just to take a look at uh, everything Holberry has to offer. By the way, Merry Christmas, guys, and a Happy New Year, I think. I hope you guys have had a very good family time, presents, and all that stuff. I hope Santa has given you something nice, despite this whole freaking pandemic and stuff. So, as you guys already know, I am going to be checking out everything in this place. And yes, it's going to culminate into me beating the crud out of a certain gym leader. And, well, let's talk to this girl right here. And she's like, I have the Champion Leon's uh, lead card too. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Never mind. Yeah, like I said, guys, we're going to be finding a lot of Pokemon trainers. For, we're just going to be finding a lot of people. They're not going to be saying a whole bunch, but I do believe maybe one or two people actually do give us some stuff. And, well, here we have uh, this lady saying, I remember when Professor Magnolia first presented her findings on Dynamax Phenomenon. The whole Gala region was in such a spin. That is true. That is a very, very... Well, that is a very nice fact right there. And, well, let's go right here. I think there's somebody here that gives us an item. Wow, she looks yummy. And not a single bite today, but I still need to polish my gear. I mean, my Pokemon are bound to bite if my gear's uh, nice and shiny, right? Not a single bite today, but still. Wow, she's looking like a model fisherman. Nice. Okay, so let's go right here. And, well, we got the twins right here, and let's see what they have to say. We're taking care of our house while Mum and Dad are out. It's hiding, but my Pokemon are here to help, too. Never mind. Okay, never mind. And, well, let's see. I think this house right here holds what we're looking for. I did see that shiny thing, so we'll get there in a little bit. Uh, let's see. Don't catch too many Pokemon. That'll be to deplete the sea life. A good fisher is also a good Pokemon trainer. That's because a fisher has to make quick judgments to adjust the changes in the sea. Wow, nobody has an item for me. Wow, I thought that was I thought we were gonna get an item, but here we found a full heal. Nice item to actually heal our Pokemon fully. And well, let's go upstairs. Let's see what this is all about right here. Wow, this place is huge. And well, there, we're bound to find somebody with some good items and all that stuff. Well, hello there. What do you have for us? It's hard to tell if a whooper is a male or a female. Can you tell? Or can you do it? Well, let's see. I'm not, you know, I'm not a genius, but I do believe that Wooper with two, with two little whiskers, like two whiskers on its whiskers is a male and one whisker is a female. I could be wrong though. Who knows? We, we, we will find out. And well, let's go right here and look at that. We're finding another lady right here. See, if the, if a gym leader is too weak, their gym will be relegated to the minor division. Really? So we're definitely going into like some soccer kind of stuff right here. And well, look at that. It's the train station right here. And let's see. Yeah, you. this is the, well, this is the, uh, the train station right here. And you can actually go back to wherever you came from, like the wild area and all that stuff. And well, let's see. Even if you don't actually battle, simulating different battle strategies in your mind can be fun too. And being on a train can be boring, but I w like I wish I could battle on a train. I heard that you, I that you I heard that you can battle on a subway train in the faraway Unova region. True, never been there though. Never been there. But let's get the heck out of here. Okay, so we're not gonna go into the train. There's really nothing that you can find right here except a gym. And well, let's see. I want to go to this area right here, but that will be for a little bit later on. There's the restaurant. Of course, we won't be able to go in there until after we win our second badge. And, well, let's see. Is there anything around here uh, worth mentioning? Oh, yes. This area right here, you can actually buy some cool items. Let's see what this guy has to sell. Hey, oh. Welcome to the herb shop. Let's see what, you, uh, what you'll buy. And right now, he only has like four things, but eventually he'll growing, you know, size of uh, merchandise right there. And if you talk to this lady right here, get a whiff of the fragrance. How about some incense for you, boy? Well, there are some incenses right here that you can actually use to, you know, breed Pokemon and get their pre-evolutionary form, like Snorlax. I, I believe if you give it, a, if you give it the full incense, then yeah, you can actually 
you can actually get a uh, Munchlax out of it. Correct me if I'm wrong right there, guys. So here we have a Magnet. And yes, this will boost up any of my electric type moves. And uh, let's see, you got a Minichino interested in training for a Cottony? Yes! Let's go ahead and trade it. Where is Minchino? Ah, there you are. Alright, trade it. Don't worry, there are plenty of Minchinos around here. And yes, we're going to be trading a Pokemon. And would you look at that? The old theme song to the trade. The evolutionary th theme song and all that stuff. Look at this. And then it becomes new. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. They... They really went all out with this whole, uh, you know, evolutionary song, uh, song title right here. It's freaking hilarious. Okay, so... Here we have Cottony, the grass and fairy type Pokemon. It shoots cotton from its body to protect itself. If it gets caught up in a hurricane strength winds, it will get sent to the other side of the earth. Wow, it must be a super light Pokemon for that. Thanks, mate! You made my day. I'll take real good care of it. Alright, so that's one thing right there, and let's see what this person has to say. Let's see. I feel like the time you spend trying to make up your mind is the true essence of shopping. Really. And then, you'll have no trouble in the gym challenge if you take the time to train up now. Which is true. Probably should have been training up right now, but I kind of I kind of feel like I'm going to wait until afterwards right here. And, well, here we are in the dock, and I do believe that you can find an item right here. Yes, I was right. Look at that. We have found ourselves a Shell Bell, which is another item that can actually heal your Pokemon if, uh, you know, you're battling and all that stuff. It's kind of like leftovers right there. And, well, let's see. Is there anything else around here that you can actually find? Nope, just boats. Lots and lots of boats. And, well, let's see. Can't go beyond this place right here, I think, because uh, Team Yell is right around this area. That will actually lead us to the next route. Now, I do see a statue nearby, so we're going to be going right there close to the gym. And, well, there's a sexy, scary lady right there. Now, let's move on. Where are we? We are right here. Okay, so here's the gym. Don't worry, guys. We will be getting there. There's somebody waiting for us right there. And, well, let's see. There is a dock around here somewhere. I don't even know, but there's a shiny little area right here. And we found two super potions. And, well, here is a lighthouse, and there's somebody up there. Holy crud, okay. And would you look at that? There is a beauty right there looking, up at, uh, looking off in the ocean. I wonder who could that be? Well, hello there. My name is Draven. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. You must be a gym challenger, right? Wow, she is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, damn. Man, if I... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but the women of Galar? Yummy! Yes, how did you know? You're one of the ones endorsed by Leon, right? Anything you say, baby. You've become something of a hot topic among gym trainers. Here you go, Mr. Famous. I've already heard about you, so you should learn about me, too. And we get ourselves... We get ourselves her phone number, a.k.a. her Lee card... And, uh, let's see, let's, let's head to the stadium, I love fishing, but I love Pokemon battles even more, and I'm itching for a battle with you. Whatever you say, baby. God, I could watch her, I could watch her walk for, for hours. Okay, so let's see, I think there's an item right here, yes, we have found the TM-82 Electroweb. A very nice item. Yeah, you know, lowers the speed of Pokemon and all that stuff. And, well, let's see, these are, wow, these are, this is an interesting statue right here. This is a statue of a Pokemon that is said to have protected the lighthouse. Now, eventually, we will be meeting up these two Pokemon right here. Well, they're, they're one and the same, except, you know, depends on their, their, their ability, or not their ability, but their mood and all that stuff. So, let's move on right here, and, well, this fishing hole right here. It's very special because you will be able to find this five net balls and well an unlimited amount of Pokemon right here that you can actually fish for so let's go right ahead and see what we can actually find and come on there it is pull them out and would you look at that we found ourselves an Arokuda now I don't normally 
I don't normally like to battle these Pokemon, or I don't normally like to capture these Pokemon, because to me, this kind of like reminds me of that Unovan Pokemon that kind of looks like it. Uh, what was it called again? Shoot, that green Pokemon. I don't really remember, but Aracuda evolves into Barrascuda, and yeah, it is a very, very strong attacker. Very strong water-type Pokemon. And, well, we're going to try and see if we can actually capture this guy right here. So let's go ahead, nuzzling it away, and Big Booty Balto is doing his job. Of course, Aracuda, not so, uh, not so happy right now because, yes, it is paralyzed. So let's go right ahead and use one of the net balls right here. So let's see, where in the heck are you? Yes, we got 23 net balls. Thank you, Arceus. And look at this, one, two... And three. There it is. Caught. Throwing out the peace sign right there, guys. Throwing out the peace sign. And, well, with that, most of our Pokemon gain levels and all that crud, too. And let's see what we can find. Aracuda, the data. The rush Pokemon right here. If it sees any movement around it, this Pokemon charges for it straight, uh, straight away. Leading with its sharply pointed jaw, it is very proud of that jaw. Wow. Okay, so we're not going to nickname this Pokemon, and we are going to be sending this guy to the uh, to the PC right here. Okay, so that is a pretty good Pokemon to actually have. And you know what? Let's go ahead and fish for one more Pokemon. wonder what it could be. Is it another water-type Pokemon that I don't have? Maybe. Who knows? And... Nope, it's another Aracuda. Never mind, I already caught this guy. I should probably just beat it. You know, just because it's a, you know, wild Pokemon. Get more experience points. And look at that. The spark attack right here. Does it do it? Can it do it? And, well, let's get this right here. We're going to get healed up. And, of course, let's go ahead and use a swift attack just to finish this guy right here. And where can he go? Oh, damn. It's fast. It's definitely fast. So here comes a swift attack. And there we go. Look at that. <laughs> so there it is. Defeated another Aracuda. So now let's go ahead and just go straight for the gym challenge. Uh, let's see. First is first. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Now, off screen, I did give a few uh, experience candies to Optimus and, well, to Drago. And trust me, guys, training a Pokemon like Drago is going to take a lot of work just because it's a Dragon type Pokemon. In Sun and Moon, it is a lot more easier to level it up just or just to evolve it because it's damn close to its leveling up or it's 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 uh, what you might call it. It's uh, you know its final evolutionary form right there. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go straight to the water type gym right here in Holberry. Holberry. And what do we got? The ball man right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling, rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. I see that you have a fishing rod. In that case, I've got a perfect Pokeball for you. We get ourselves a lure ball, which of course actually helps us with any Pokemon that we fish out, so that's pretty cool right there. Actually works best for Pokemon that we fish out, that's what it meant. So, let's go right ahead and uh, meet up with our next girlfriend. Mm, 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 mm. She looks fine. Fine, fine. Alrighty. God, man, the women of Gal are just like, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hey there, Gym Challenger. Shall we start the process with the, the gym mission? Yes, we are. That's right, then you're going to have to get a change into your uniform. So let's go right ahead and change into that uniform. And, well, let's get ready to rumble. Let's just do it. All right, you're in your uniform. Head into the gym mission. And, oh, by the way, while you're on the gym mission, you can't use your Pokemon Box Link. Really? Oh, crud. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> well, we're, just gonna, we're really going to have to work with the Pokemon that we actually have right here. No biggie, because... They're actually trained up just a little bit. Okay, so here we are in the, the water type gym. Look at this place! What the hell? All the tubes, all the people. This looks like Cerebro. You guys don't remember? This looks like Cerebro. And uh, here's our mate right here. The Hoberry Pokemon gym mission is this a challenging maze, and you must reach the goal to clear the mission. However, some paths in the maze are blocked by water. 
What should you do then? Try pressing the red button over there, and I imagine you figure it out, future champ. Well, this guy actually believes in us. Now, let the gym mission begin. Alright, bring it on. Attack. That's right, I'm whistling at all you girls right there. Here comes Draven, and well... Welcome to the Holberry Stadium. Ready to bask in the beauty of the water type moves? Hell yeah. Man, water type gym leaders are pretty awesome. Okay, so here we go, take it on Julia, and uh, she will be coming out with her Time Pool. Now, thankfully, Time Pool is not a ground type Pokemon just yet, so let's go ahead and use that Spark Attack right here. Of course, it's a little faster than that, so Big Booty Balto is going to have to wait its turn right here. Here we go, Spark Attack does its thing, and this uh, Big Booty Balto is going to do more, but here comes a Round Attack. And that right there is kind of scary because I thought round attack was like something else. But anywho, time pull. Oh, yes. Eating a spark attack. Yes, sir. Okay. And everybody gained some levels. And Julia has been defeated. <laughs> she looks surprised. <laughs> time pull and I were the ones who got soaked. Yes, you did. Okay. So let's move on right here. Now we're going to be pressing that red button right there. Because eventually it will lead us to that yellow button right there. So let's go ahead and press this. And there it is. And now press this red button one more time. And that clears a path right there. So now, let's see. We have to get to that lady right there. We can't even pass through that because it's, it's, it's soaking. It is just soaking. Alrighty, so here we go. Pressing on a button uh, stops water, but you've got to think about the order, too. No, oh, you're, you're not kidding. You really aren't kidding. Okay, so here we go. Taking on a girl named Heather, and, well, she's coming out with a Krabby. A very, very defensive Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and go with another Spark Attack. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it's, it's just gaining its defense. It's looking like to me that we're getting a little, we're just a little slow right now, and uh, well, we're still healing up from the last battle right here. And well, let's go right ahead and use another, well, doesn't, but here comes a water, a whirlpool right here, and uh, yeah, we are trapped now, so here we go again. Spark attack does the trick. Yeah, buddy, say goodbye to Krabby. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, and Krakatoa grows a level right here, and. Well, healing up our Pokemon, that's always nice. And, well, I think it's time for us to use our good old buddy Optimus because it is a little stronger. So let's go again, Optimus. Show homegirl how it's done. Let's see how she's, uh, let's see how she fares against us right here. So here comes Corefish, another, another crab Pokemon. Alrighty, let's go with the Branch Poke, see what it does. Branch Poke, poke the branch, there we go. And there goes Corefish. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, and wow. Not a lot of experience points, and yeah, she is not happy about that one right there, too. Okay, so let's see. She says we have to think about the order, and to me, it looks like... Let's see what it does. Let's see what this does. Okay, so that is that, but I kind of have a feeling that the red button is going to screw us over a little, maybe. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we did the right thing right there, and now we have to go through this area right here, get through this part. So, let's see. We have to get to the blue one right there. Now, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. I think we need to go to Optimus to swipe or to, to sweep everybody right here. But before we do that... Alrighty, okay, so that is that right there, and... This one will lead us to... What place? Okay, so it will lead us to all the blues right here, so let's go ahead and take care of that, and then battle the, this little beauty right here. So there it is, everything blue, taken care of, and... Yes, let's battle her right here. What? You made it this far, and you want to battle me? She doesn't sound like she wants to battle at all. 
So here we go, taking on Gym Trainer Lynn, and well, she's coming out with a Remoraid, a pretty fast Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and use Optimus Prime right here. Let's go, Razor Leaf Attack. Okay, Razor Leaf does its thing. Look at that, Remoraid had no chance. Alrighty. Okay, and look at that, Drago grows to level 26, and she is going to be coming out with a Choodle, so let's go ahead and stay with Optimus right here. And, well, Choodle looking all mean and everything, let's go with this Razor Leaf attack again. And uh, look at that, Choodle defeated. This is pretty awesome, and, well, everybody else gaining experience points, and she... She is not too happy about this. With that strength, it's no wonder you beat uh, all my Pokemon. Yes, we defeated you. Alrighty. So, let's see. Where oh, where do we have to go now? Yeah, this is going to trap us right here. Look at this. So, we're going to have to press this button again. So, this is what, he, this is what she meant by the order. So, we're going to have to hit that blue button first. Let's see, blue button, and red button right here, red button right here, and now, let's see, okay, so now both of these are closed up, so now if we press this yellow button right here, this will actually liberate us, get to the red, get to the blue, and yeah, look at that, alrighty, so let's go right here. And back to blue. And here it is. Back to blue. Okay, so there is a clear pathway right there to the gym trainer or the gym leader. And well, before we go anywhere, let's see what this is all about. Oh, yeah, it's a clear pathway to the gym leader. Okay, so we completed the whole challenge right here. So now it is time for us to actually go straight for the gym leader. And well, first. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Go with Balto and Optimus Prime right here. And, well, let's see. Give it a potion. Good old buddy Big Booty Balto is getting ready for another Pokemon battle right here. And, well, let's go straight ahead. Yes, we finally made it to the gym leader right here. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. Gym mission cleared. Okay, time to go down that pathway again because yes sir yes sir we're about to battle another gym leader and may I say she's a pretty good looking one right here that's right we're gonna walk nice and stoic that's right the Vince McMahon strut coming in here because we're about to beat this girl we're about to win and uh, well there she is looking beautiful as always mm, 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 mm. damn and, well, there's that ugly fuck right there. That is me. Yes, sir. And, well, let's see what's going to happen right now. Welcome, honored gym, uh, gym challenger. I think you already realize, but I'm Nessa. Sorry, that, sorry to have made you look for me. You didn't really make me look for you. I, I, I just saw you out in the distance, but god damn. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't doubt my humble admissions difficulty. Yeah, you cleared it. Your mind as a or your mind as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. No matter what kind of plan that your refined may, mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. Hmm. I just love the way she walks. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Gym battle number two, going up against gym leader Nessa, the water type trainer. And well, let's do this. Here she goes, and whoa! <laughs> wow, she damn near made a splint when she threw that ball. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, I'm in love. Nessa is by far the hottest gym leader. She really is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get this going. Big Booty Balto ready to take on Goldeen. And, well, we are not fast enough. So here we go. Big Booty Balto with a spark attack. Nearly makes that Pokemon faint, but it makes it paralyzed. Oh, yeah. We got a good strategy going right here, and well, let's go right ahead, go for another spark attack for the win, because we're now faster. And look at that, Big Booty Balto has beaten Goldeen. Yeah, buddy. And Shadow Blade grows to level 25 right there. 
Big Booty Balto getting healed. Yes. Yes. Okay. And here she's about to come out with an Aracuda. Yeah, this Pokemon is definitely fast. So just, just realize this, guys. It's evolved form. It's, it's definitely a strong one right there. So here we go with a Spark Attack. And here she comes out with an Aqua Jet. That is very physical right there. But no worries. Spark Attack does it for the win. And yes. We're going to get healed. We're going to get hurt. We're going to get healed. It no matter. We're still going to win. So let's go. Spark Attack right here. And here comes a Bite Attack from Ad Aracuda. And well, Balto. No worries. Big Booty Balto getting it with a Spark Attack right there. Look at that. Say goodbye to Aracuda. And look at that. Big Booty Balto grows to level 26. No problem. And now she's about to come out with her strongest Pokemon right here. And remember, guys, in Gym Leader Battles, you're going to be taking on Dy uh, Dynamax Pokemon. And here she's going to be coming out with a Dreadnought. Definitely not a Pokemon that you, you want to mess with because we already have one ourselves. So let's go with Optimus Prime right here. Alrighty, let's go. Let's get this. Optimus Prime, ready for battle. And here she is, looking fine as always. Looks like I'm down to my last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Here she comes out with Dreadnought. The rock and water type Pokemon. So remember this, guys. It's going to be a difficult Pokemon to defeat. And it will be Dynamax, so no problem. Let's go with Max Overgrowth right here. Alrighty. Here we go, Optimal Optimus time. So here it is, throwing our Pokeball right there. Optimus, Digivolve to Optimal Optimus. Yeah. Let's go. It's Battle Cry right here. Oh, yeah. And, well, damn. Flood the stadium and make it our Ocean Dreadnought. Time to Dynamax. Here she is. Please do that whole kick again. Please. Nope, she doesn't do it, but guess what? Her Dreadnought digivolves into a big old Dreadnought right here. Holy crud. Okay, so this is a Pokemon you don't want to mess with. So, let's bring it. Battle of the Giants right here. And here comes a Max Overgrowth. This will be at least four times stronger just because it does have both weaknesses. And look at that. One hit, KO. Optimal Optimus wins the match. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And Dreadnought has fainted. <laughs> Whew. Okay. And just like that, we gain experience points. Optimal Optimus. Yes, level 28. Oh, yeah. Good old buddy has won the match. And we're celebrating. Look at this. And wow, she is not happy. I may probably be the strongest member of this gym, but I was totally washed away. It's okay, baby. I still love you. I still do. Okay. And look at that. Big Booty Balto is finally evolving. So what What? If, what exactly will it evolve to? Let's take a look. Look at that. It's no longer Big Booty Balto, but it's just Bolt Hunt. Look at that Pokemon. It's majestic looking. Okay, so let's see what this Bolton looks like, or says on uh, right here. So it is the dog type Pokemon, or the dog Pokemon. This Pokemon generates electricity and channels it into its legs to keep it from uh, going strong. Bolton can run nonstop for three full days. Wow. Very awesome Pokemon. And just like that, Nessa's looking all fine and dandy, and she's like, How? How could this be? <sighs> now that I've battled you, I think I understand... Continue to seize victories in Gym Challenge with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may even be strong enough to, uh, to challenge the champion. You don't say. Man, that is approval from the girlfriend uh, herself. Man. I think I'm in love. I, I think I might propose to her right here. Good God. You and your Pokemon are indeed deserving of this Gym Badge. Alrighty, shake my hand. Yes. And here it is, guys. The second badge in our... Gala region exploration right here. Look at that. The water badge. Nothing too, nothing too special. And now we can catch Pokemon up to level 30. And she's like, you'll want to challenge the fire, fire gym leader next as you and your Pokemon are now, or now, he'll definitely want to battle you. I can't even read. Holy crap. These, 
Yeah, these British people, holy crud. Okay, so there it is, guys. After defeating Nessa, Homegirl here is like, Draven, my sincerest congratulations for your victory over the gym leader, Nessa. Please take this com to commemorate your uh, TM and whatever. And we get ourselves a TM36 Whirlpool. And, of course, it does trap your poke or does trap a Pokemon in a violent Whirlpool. Take this, too. It's a replica of Nessa's uniform. The water uniform. Okay. Now that you won the water badge, it'll be watching, or I'll be watching this just to see how far you and your Pokemon can go. All right. Okay. We're strutting. That's right. Vince McMahon strut. Yes, it was a fierce battle, and I feel victorious, and whoa. Hello there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Scary lady. Do not keep the chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant, the, the captain's table. So you will uh, not or not forget the chairman's face. I will give you one of his lead cards. Man, she is scary hot. <laughs> wow. Chairman Rose is the kind of man who gets down, downhearted if he doesn't take care of, his, of things he needs to, to do right away. Go to the seafood restaurant as soon as possible so, so as not to keep the chairman waiting. She is scary hot, guys. I swear to God. I don't know what it is, but Galler, I, I'm, I think I'm starting to love Galler. Okay, so we're going to complete our adventure right here by going to the restaurant, guys. I'm going to put this all in one episode for you guys. That way we can continue on right here. I believe off screen I will be, uh, yeah, I will be training my Pokemon a little bit more. Yes, we have the privilege to go in here. Yes, sir. Look at that. We are famous. We are smug. We are fantastic. And, well, <sighs> would you look at that? Scary, scary hot lady and uh, smart hot lady. They're all there with them. All right, let's go right in and see what the whole thing is all about. And here is the Chairman Rose. Draven, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, were you invited too? You two, knew, you two know each other? That's great. Come on now, please be seated. Wow, look at this. And we're having a dinner for a whole bunch of people. And, well, Scary Hot Lady's not there. Wow, Scary Hot Lady. She's, I think, I think she's the one that beats up everybody. I don't know. Holberry is seafood town. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. <sighs> She was saying that uh, she was saying that there's still so much uh, we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take a a, uh, a she made, she even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A a power spot detector. That's the kind. That's the device that allowed me to discover power spots, locations that emit gallery particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing that the Professor Magnolia is so worried, though. If only there was something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history uh, preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it, it is about time we get going, Chairman. Hmm. But I've had, hardly had a chance to speak to Draven. It's regrettable, but I'm, I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time like the present after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. Wow, she is, like, scary hot. And she is just hot. Hmm. Huh. Does he, think the, does he think he's going to do me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for uh, info on the, the legends, but... You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Nessa's no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. And look at that. We get ourselves a TM79 Retaliate. And, well... the re uh, Let's see. The user uh, gets revenge for a fainted ally. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this power... Yeah, it's increased. Okay. Nessa's a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jin Challenger. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So... That was pretty much it for this episode, guys. I, I, I'm telling you this right now. Oh, great. So we meet again, Hop. Okay, I get it. 
All right, mate. You've got uh, both gym or both grass badge and the water badge by now, right? In that case, we're both headed to Moto Stoke and the Fire Gym Leader Kabu. How about I share uh, with you a little tip about the Leader Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up in Gal hold up in uh, Galar Mine Number Two, undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can't take him on in the Moto Stoke, even if we zip right through over there. Put in the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head uh, we head to Galar Mine Number Two ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is all about. Okay, all right. So that is where the next adventure lies, guys. Oh man, it has been an adventure, yes. And we we went through this whole area pretty quickly, so yeah. Now there is a little something that you guys should should know or should realize right here. I do believe after every gym battle, you actually get more items right there, and then the pokey jobs do increase. Just off screen, I did take a look at the pokey jobs, and I did send over a, quite a few grass type Pokemon. So little by little, I'm going to be increasing the the HP of my Pokemon right here, or not the HP, but just you know the the ex or no the levels of my Pokemon. So now here we have a newer job. We need nets, and the only Pokemon capable of creating nets that are both durable and flexible are bug type Pokemon. We want you. So we need to send over five bug type Pokemon, and it is three stars for this whole job right here. So let's go right ahead and put in some three three bug type Pokemon. I do believe, or five bug type Pokemon. I do believe I have enough right here. So let's see. We do have a Grubbin. Let's go with that. And let's see. Who else? We do have another Grubbin right here. Holy crud. Uh, let's go with Ninkata. And who else needs a job? Okay, Q to fly. It is a bug type Pokemon. Let's go with Blip Bug. So that's four. And well, let's see. We're in number three. Who else do we have? Okay, so we have Butterfree right here. We could use him. I did evolve. I did evolve my uh, Caterpie uh, in the last episode, or not in the last episode, but off screen right here. So let's go ahead and put pa Butterfree right here. Okay, so let's send the Pokemon for a full day, and, uh, well, look at all them Pokemon. Oh, yes. Guys, we're going to have a pretty damn good team right here. Now, as you can see, we have two other jobs uh, that have been done. In the last one, we had nobody can deny grass that Pokemon are the best handling in plants. We would be we would be overjoyed if we uh, if you, if some could help us out. So as you can see, I've already sent four of those grass type Pokemon to work, and right here we are looking for normal type Pokemon. I do believe in the last episode I did showed you guys that, or two episodes ago probably. We still got 16 hours to go, so yes. This is the main reason to why this game might be a little longer than usual because there are Pokemon jobs and I will be using that to the bi the, the best of, uh, of my ability. I'm going to try and uh, you know level up a lot of teams right here, guys, and, and I'm going to construct. I'm at least going to construct two two Galar teams, and then the rest are going to be Pokemon from previous generations and whatnot. But this this walkthrough is going to be something. Now, since we've won our second badge right here. And we're going to be going up against a Fire-type Gym Leader. Let's go ahead and take a look. So, Pokemon up to level 40 will listen to us, and we can capture Pokemon up to level 30. Since that's happening, we will be going uh, to back to the wild location, and we're going to be training. We're going to be doing a lot of training, a lot of capturing of newer Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Hold on. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Yes, let's go ahead and heal our po our Pokemon. Look at that. Big Booty Balto has slimmed down right here. Oh, yes. Okay, so now after we healed up our Pokemon, she's going to be like, By the way, you may be able to see rare Pokemon at Wedgehurst Station now. Before we finish off this episode here, guys, let's go straight for the... Uh, let's go straight for the, uh, the, the train station right here. And I'm going to show you guys what, what she means. Now, it took me a while. It took me quite a while to actually get get this whole thing. But you can go here into the train station. And you press this button right here. Which station do you want to go? Let's go back to the Wedgehurst station right here. And what this does is that we're going to be going straight to Wedgehurst Stadium. 
And once that is done, you talk to this person right here. The train to the Isle of Armor has arrived. Those with the armor pass, please ab board the, the train. Wow, she is a... Uh... God damn, Galler. God damn. Okay, so you talk to this guy right here. And you see this lady. And uh, she's looking fine as always. Do you have the armor pass? <laughs> of course, I, ha I totally have one. Please allow me to check your pass. And, whoa. That is a slowpoke. But what the hell is that with his head? I don't know. Slow. Oh, a slowpoke. Uh-oh. Looks like another one's gotten uh, got, has gotten on the train and ridden over from uh, the Isle of Armor. Huh. Okay. There's a lot of slowpoke living on the Isle of Armor. Not sure if they feel like traveling or what, but sometimes a uh, few board on the train. Who are you? Is this the first time you've seen a Galarian Slowpoke? The coloring on the top of its head is curl-like. Isn't it super duper cute? It is, and wow, she... wow. Mm. So, if you talk to this Slowpoke right here, it's gonna be looking at you, and... Well, this guy's gonna be like, you're a Pokemon trainer, right? If a Slowpoke blocks the ticket gate, it'll cause trouble for the other customers. Slowpoke are actually pretty heavy, so do you think you could catch it for me? Sure, let's go ahead and capture this guy. So, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Okay, so we're going to be battling Galarian Slowpoke right here. Look at this guy. And, well, here we have not-so-big booty Balto anymore. And, well, shoot, it is uh, 13 levels above it. So, let's go ahead and switch off to another Pokemon that could actually get to it. So, let's go with Michelangelo. Alright, switching it over, and here we have Michelangelo. Alright, Dredena. And Homeboy here is going with a Growl. So this might benefit us just with the fact that, you know, it lowers his attack just a little. So let's go with a Bite Attack right here. Oh, no, 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 no! It's a Bite Attack! Oh, crap! Oh, oh no! Oh. Well, that's, uh... Well, that's a shame. Well, I made that... I made that Slowpoke faint. Slow. Oh yeah, it still hasn't stopped. Okay. Looks like it's defeating isn't enough. You have to catch it. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jeebus. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and capture this guy. Woo! <laughs> oh man, for a second there, I thought that I was gonna... I was gonna screw up. Okay, never mind. Okay. Big Booty Balto. Do its thing. You know what? I'm just gonna capture it with a netball. See what? It, see where it goes. All right. Let's see how quickly we can catch this guy. One, two, and three. There it is. Caught it. Oh man, I thought I made a huge mistake. Okay. So again, growing levels. Thanks a lot, Michelangelo. You scared the crap out of me. And here we have. Slowpoke, we're not giving it a nickname, and let's see, do we have a summary of this Pokemon? So, as you can see, it is a Galarian Slowpoke. Eventually, it evolves into a Poison slash Psychic type Pokemon right here. And, let's see, well, it does have Confusion as a, as a good attack right here. Huh, I wonder if I did catch her. Okay, so, summary of your, which we call it, Pokemon. No, actually, we don't need that. Okay, so let's go ahead and send it to the box right there. So there you are. You're sent to the box. And what ends up happening right here? Thanks much. Slopo can be big trouble for, uh, to move sometimes. Wow, amazing. The way you caught that Slowpoke was the absolute coolest. We apologize for the wait. We have checked your armor pass all aboard the train to the Isle of Armor. Mind your step when you're boarding. Please be aware that there will be a connection along the way. Okay. And look at her. She's like very prissy, very, you know, very girly. I'm heading to a place called the Isle of Armor. I'm going to catch some more rare Pokemon and do some training. Let's hang if we meet up again, okay? Bye-bye. Then see ya. Oh, wow. She... Wow. Galar. I, I'm starting to love everything about Galar. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. She was talking about the Isle of Armor, which is, you know, pretty much in the expansion pass right here. 
Now, it is a paid content to the Nintendo eShop. I will eventually get it once I finish up the main part of this whole walkthrough. Uh, I'm actually going to do that with the Pokemon Shield walkthrough right there, or Pokemon Shield that I have right now. And, you know, I'm going to explore it just a little bit. But that is pretty much it right there. And, yeah, we don't have a pass. So, that is that. And let's go... We're actually going to be going to the Wild Station right there. So... We're going to stop the game right here, guys. Again, thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas, guys. I hope you guys have a very, very good Christmas. Stay safe. Stay positive. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Sword. Yeah, possibly tomorrow. Yeah, give you guys a good weekend. See you guys.